Council on the Aging Victoria, supported by Vic Health, have developed back in the game to offer people over 50 a different way to enjoy an active lifestyle. There is a growing need to offer a range of activities that better caters for the diverse interests and abilities of older people. Playing games is a way people can get together socially and be physically active. Age and ability don't matter, and nor does the outcome. The goal is simply to have fun. Lots of fun, lots of laughs, lots of, and you feel better. When you go home, you sort of think, well, been a good day, and you think about it. We enjoy it together, and, and we're certainly getting a lot of exercise from it, which we wouldn't be getting um, if we weren't coming here. I think the best fun I'm having with the program is that my husband started playing again, and, and that to me is wonderful because we used to always play sport together. He had heart problems and couldn't play. Now he's had a pacemaker and defibrillator fitted and I didn't think he was going to be able to do any of this. And yet he's out there with us today having a, having a go and yes, it's wonderful to be able to play sport with him again. You get that blood flow and it's just good for you. Back in the Game has been developed with older people offering a variety of activities based on familiar and less familiar games. It's accessible for all skill levels and aims to develop participants' abilities over time. The games are fun to play and have been modified to make them manageable and safe for all participants. As participants' skill levels grow, the games can change to cater for increased confidence and understanding of the rules. The equipment that we use for the games are modified to allow older people to play successfully. We can cater for all ranges of ability by choosing the size, the weight and the speed of the equipment that we give that group of people to use. The modifications uh, suit our age group, um, make it simple for us and but keep us active. Some of the sports that we've played have been tennis, badminton, hockey, basketball. We learned a new one today, we played t-ball on a table tennis, played table tennis, tried carpet bowls once, wasn't very good at that, and a great one called circle ball, um, really gets the heart pumping. Back in the game can be offered as a single sport or multi-sport model. The single sport version of Back in the Game is more likely to appeal to people who've been active, either in this sport or another, at a younger age, and are keen to use the skills of the games that they enjoy against people of their own age and ability level. The multi-sport model is designed to appeal to people who may have no experience in sport and have not yet found an activity that engages them. It provides a variety of initially simple games using some basic skills at one central venue, usually indoors. Well, the nature of the game, that depends on how competitive you are. Uh, you can be as um, into the games as you like or you can just take it easy and be gentle. You put into what, it, what you want to put into it. You can put a lot of effort into it, but once you've had enough, you sit down. It's not a matter of you have to go, go, go. It's what you can stand and to your ability. There are many potential benefits. Back in the game may motivate participants to improve their physical fitness through strength training and other activities. It might be a stepping stone to participation in other more competitive opportunities such as Masters Sport. However, the most important benefit is the development of new social connections. There is no obligation for participants to commit to teams or competition. Costs are minimal with no joining fees or advance payments required. The sessions are carefully scheduled when stadiums are generally quieter and safer. And best of all, it's a welcoming environment with time set aside for a chat over tea or coffee at the end of each session. It's a total package of uh, social contact, exercise, uh, just meeting, talking with people. It's just so many different 
uh, good things about it. It's laughing all the time, which is good for, for anybody, especially older people, because we don't laugh enough. You are meeting new people. Today we've had the Shepparton people over and it has been great. Yes, I've made a lot of great new friends here. It's, it's wonderful. Um, people that I would not have met otherwise, and we all have this common interest. There is a fitness element, although we don't focus on it. A lot of the games improve your fitness in a sneaky way and people will go away having played a game and worked out a little harder than they realise they're doing as they're playing. Yes, I noticed that my health's improving, yes. I think it is, yes. <laughs> oh, I've got better coordination, I'd, I'd say, yes, yeah. I tell myself, I think you're improving, girl. So I can recommend it to anyone. Your health will benefit. The badminton, um, I got better and better and better as I, each time I play it. And I think the, the biggest benefit is you're doing these incredible exercises you probably wouldn't otherwise do, but you're having fun and you don't realise so much just how much you're putting into it. Oh, my skills are definitely increasing. And my level of fitness, before I could only play for a few minutes, and each time I can play, I can play last a bit longer on the court before I have to have a break. I think you do improve. But practice makes perfect with most things, doesn't it? For more information about Back in the Game, ask your local sports stadium, community centre, YMCA or local council. Alternatively, call Seniors Information on 1300 13 50 90 or go to Seniors Information Online directory at www.cotavic.org.au or give Cota a call on 03 9655 Cota strives to resource and mobilise older people and shape a society that enables people to age well by creating new opportunities in active recreation.